Hi guys, today I'm doing a video that has been long overdue, but it is a perfectly posh brand review. So it's kind of like a all-encompassing review. I haven't tried obviously everything from this brand because they have an extensive product line, like so many products, it's actually insane. I have tried quite a few and kind of from like all over the board, skincare, body care, hair care, kind of a couple of different things. If you like, were thinking about checking out the brand, or even if you have never heard of them, maybe this will give you like a little bit of a summary of what they're about, stuff like that. I did want to start out by saying, just like completely honest, you know, throwing it out there. Someone from the company did reach out to me. That's how I heard about the brand. Otherwise, I did not know about them. I was never paid to say anything about them. I've incorporated them into videos before. They helped me out with my holiday giveaway, which is really amazing. So they have sent me products for free to test out and to give away to you guys, but they've never paid me, so it's not like sponsored or anything. You guys know I'm always 100% honest. I did want to talk about them today because there is some products I've tried from them that I haven't talked about and even stuff I have talked about if you missed those videos or something. So I will leave all the links to any product that I mention below. I have tried more than what I'm going to talk about here too but these are the things that really stood out to me that you might be the most interested in as well. To give a little overview of the brand before I get into the particular products, this brand makes all of their products in the US which I think is just really great. They have vegan options and they are cruelty free which is really important to me. It's really hard to find I feel like a brand that is cruelty free which is it's 2017 guys get with the program they are so that is really great and also i don't think any of their products are over 25 dollars or 30 i think it's 25 you guys know me i'm a very cheap person i hate spending a lot of money i really appreciate that i mean 25 dollars obviously isn't super cheap but the majority of i'd say their products that i like are around the 15 dollar mark that is kind of the gist of the brand i think that i want to throw out there so the first thing i want to talk about is the n men shampoo and conditioner it's like the shampoo and conditioner line that was one of the first things i tried from the brand and i was very impressed the scent isn't my favorite for shampoo it was very nice like i did not like it but i'm a more um i like a more spa like scent and they were a bit fruity so if you like a fruity scent you'll like that i really liked was that they rinsed out super well now i get really 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 a lot of buildup. you can probably already see it my hair is actually clean this i don't think did that i've tried it like I don't want to say I tried it three different times in a week because I did only have a foil packet. A lot of these things were like samples, so that's why I don't have full size product to talk about. I think they worked really well. I think that they mostly do focus obviously on your ends, so I wouldn't say they're the best for really greasy or thin hair, but if you have dead ends like I do, more dryness, I think they're gonna be a really great option for you. And the conditioner was such a weird consistency. Honestly, I've never experienced anything like that. This was like marshmallow fluff if you know what that is not gooey or like sticky it looked like marshmallow fluff to me i don't know but it didn't feel like that like when i went into my hair it felt very moisturizing when i rinsed out my hair felt like i just rinsed out conditioner i don't think they're groundbreaking shampoo and conditioner but if you're looking for something and you like that kind of smell then i think that they'll definitely work next right next is the snuggle buddy body butter this is a really great body butter they have a ton of body butters and so many different fragrances they're like very unique too they're not things that you've smelled before in body care products if that makes sense like you're not gonna get like a dupe for like bath and body works it's like a very different scent and i like that the snuggle buddy body butter smells it has like a smell i really like a more warm smell it's like an amber vanilla kind of smell but it's not overwhelming which i like because i find things that are too fragrant can be irritating and you don't want to like mix with your like fragrance like whatever if whatever like perfume you use so i really like that i also like that their body butters all of them i don't find them to be all very different textures they're all pretty similar they absorb super easy there's no greasy residue which is nice and actually lasts really long the enchantress 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 hair serum and i have the full size of that product right here and this is probably my favorite product that i've tried from them or oh, one of the top ones it is really 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 nice i've been using it pretty much every time I shower, like every time I wash my hair. I don't notice that it weighs my hair down. It says seductively smoothing hair serum. And now it is, it's more of a serum definitely than an oil because I do feel like oils absorb super easy like immediately. And this, although it's a serum, so it's a bit more like thick than a normal oil like to the touch, it still absorbs just as easily. I do only use it kind of more in like this blonde bit of my hair, like the more bleached ends because I don't want to like obviously get it near my roots. But it also has heat protectant, which I really like because I do feel like a lot of hair serums or oils don't have heat protectant in them. And this is kind of like killing two birds at one stone, although we don't want to kill birds. So it's like, I don't know, buying one thing for the price of two. Or buy what the heck was that? What the heck was that? My cat sneezed. So it's kind of like buying two things for the price of one. That's what I meant. And it smells really nice. It's like a very spa-like smell, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? I've never really been to a spa, but it's what I imagine a spa would smell like. And whatever is left in your hand, 
moisturizes your hands like I've had hair oils that I know you try to rub it through your hands you like have to wash your hands if there's any left on your hands it's not residue you can rub it in and it feels like a moisturizer and your hands feel softer because of it it's like an easy all-in-one product like when I get out of the shower I can literally just use this and then blow dry my hair I don't need to try like a leave-in conditioner and then this and then that so I do really like that aspect especially if you travel a lot it's like one thing you're good to go. Here's what I've talked about before, so I'm just gonna talk about it briefly. But it was the In a New York Minute face mask. Love that face mask. It was just. Oh, I can't even describe. Their face masks are also all like a really unique texture. You will not have tried masks like this before. At least I haven't. And you guys know I'm a big mask person. But I'd say nine times out of ten, when you try a mask, it's a clay mask. If you put it on your skin. Ow! hit my elbow you put it on your skin and all of the moisture from the mask kind of just dries up and it's like clay and you can't move your face you can see it on your face these are not like that their masks at least the majority of the ones i've tried are like so weird when you first apply them they're like a very soft 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 texture and you can see it on your face and it almost feels like a, like a very thin moisturizing clay mask and then when it dries down, it doesn't dry down like this thick layer. It absorbs into the skin and you can barely even see it when you would rinse it off. It's like so weird, but it's so cool because it still feels like you're getting that tightening pore feeling without over drying. And I don't feel like any of their masks are over drying. The New York Minute one was in my giveaway because it's like one of my favorite products in the brand. The thing I think it does the best is it blurs your pores. It kind of gives you, when you rinse off the mask, the look of like if you had put the professional or some kind of primer on your skin, how it kind of blurs your pores. That's what that mask does, but you're rinsing it off and there's nothing on your skin. So I think it's really cool for like before makeup. I think it'd be a cool mask to use or after a week of makeup. It's one of those masks that feels really, really nice. It's enjoyable. It feels like a spa. You're relaxing. Honey Honey Body Cream. I found to be very similar texture to the Snuggle Buddy one with the butter. One's not like super thicker than the other, at least from my experience. But the Honey Honey one has such a unique smell. It's a smell of gummy bears. Straight up, if you open like Haribo gummy bears, that is the smell you would get with this. So you might not want that on your body, but if you like that kind of thing, you'll dig it. Like, it's just super interesting. Just get a kick out of it. Like, I just really enjoyed like that smell it's not something i normally go for it's a bit sweet but it didn't it wasn't like a sickly sugar sweet it was like this straight up smells like gummy bears the texture was great it absorbed really easily felt moisturized like there's nothing wrong with the texture or the consistency didn't irritate me anything but the smell lasts so long like unbelievably long i mean it's not like people were coming up to me being like oh my god you smell like a gummy bear but i noticed it all like throughout the day you notice you catch yourself and be like, Ooh, I smell like a gummy bear. I just thought that was, I mean, I don't know. Pretty sure that Perfectly Posh sells Honey Honey, not just the body cream, but like the other Honey Honey products. Oh, the Giving Me Life mask. That's one I haven't talked about yet. It comes in a really cool, like, greenish holiday looking container, so I'm a little behind the date of the year, but that really has nothing to do with it. The Giving Me Life mask has like a tea tree smell, which I actually like because it makes me feel like it's doing something really good for my skin. That mask I thought was super interesting. Like honestly, I've never tried a mask that in my life. The texture of it is very like a thicker moisturizer. And so I've had masks that are like overnight moisturizing masks that you apply and you kind of rub in like a moisturizer. You can't see them and you rinse them off in the morning and your skin feels really moisturized. Now this one, was nothing like that. It felt like a moisturizer that doesn't absorb. It wouldn't absorb. It's not like I was trying to get it to, but it just sat on my skin like a thick moisturizer. But somehow, I don't even know how to describe it, it still felt like it was drying. Not drying. No, I don't want to say drying. Tightening. Like it still felt like it was tightening my pores, my T-zone, how like masks do, but it was still like gooey to the touch to like, it felt like a moisturizer to the touch. It could never dry down, but it did feel like it tightened my pores and I just thought that was super weird. I mean, it was super weird and I think it would be really a good mask for someone with dull skin or uneven skin. I think if you have more dry skin, this would be a really cool mask to try out. You still want to tighten your pores, but you don't want it to like dry you out. I think if you have irritated skin, it could be a little like touchy for you. Like if you really sensitive skin or something it might be a bit much just like the feeling I got from it didn't irritate me whatsoever it's just such a unique like honestly if you just like trying masks this is a really good brand for you one more mask to talk about and that's the calling all fairies mask which I talked about in my mask video it's a very sweet smell like a sugary I think it's called like the sponge sugar mask so it does have a more sugary smell which kind of threw me off at first because I don't think that skincare should have such a strong smell but it didn't irritate me like it might just be some kind of like a natural smell or a very low amount of whatever it is it is very odd in the texture it's the same kind of like it dries down but like absorbs into your skin like I was saying earlier the thing about this one is that it's exfoliating like it's meant to exfoliate your skin so if you have dryness or flakiness or uneven texture or your skin just feels rough 
or even when I feel like I've been pores, it helps with all those things. But the interesting thing is when you're applying it, there is no grains, no beads, no little particles, nothing that you would think this is exfoliating. Like when I first squeezed it out and was applying it, I was like, is this even like the right mask? Is it like in the wrong little packet? So it's more of, I guess, like a chemical exfoliant, but it definitely exfoliated. Like it's really odd how smooth my skin felt after. Like I felt like it buffed off like my top layer of gunk, but it didn't actually scrape anything. Like it was super weird, but it's really good. I think it's good for, not, I don't wanna say any sensitive skin, but it was very gentle. Like it didn't irritate me. It didn't feel like scrubby. Like if you're very sensitive to any masks that like feel like you're scrubbing or any kind of harsh irritation, this one isn't like that. That was the last of the products I wanted to mention. These are just like some of my top ones that really stood out to me from the line. To be honest, I think that Perfectly Posh is a really good brand. I've checked out their website. Like I said, I've talked to someone who works with them and it's just, they, they're just, they really care. Like I feel like they really want, want you to enjoy them, like enjoy their products. They really care about the customer. I do have a little like pro con thing. I think that the pros would be pricing first of all. I think that price is like a really good middle of the road, really great price for I think teenagers, college age who want to like up up do like you know go up from like drugstore stuff but not so much as like sephora i also think that they have such a huge range of products i mean honestly you could be on their site all day so i think they have something for everyone they also have something for every skin type if you're more sensitive acne prone more mature they kind of have something built out for everyone in any age range things like that too and i feel like even the products that i tried i tried some hand creams and some more moisturizers and anyone i didn't mention in this video it wasn't because i didn't like it like i'm not trying to not put in things i didn't like or anything like that like that's not me you guys know if i didn't like something i'd be all about talking about it but there was nothing i didn't like it was just kind of the fact of it like standing out to me or not like some things i just felt kind of fell in the middle of the road i would recommend if you want to check them out go over to their instagram and follow them because they do like talk about deals and like when there's going to be like buy one get ones and things like that but i would recommend going to the website like i said if you're interested in any of the products i said i mentioned there will be a link to each of them below obviously check out anything else on the site that you're interested in but i just want to say thank you to the brand for being so lovely and hope that you guys go check them out i hope you enjoyed this little review if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up let me know if you're going to check out the brand what you're interested in what sounds intriguing to you and please subscribe if you haven't already to see more reviews and all the other weird sorts of videos i do on my channel i'll see you next time <laughs> bye thank you for watching